After the seven-day ultimatum for intervention against Niger's junta failed to yield any results, the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, turned its attention to the African Union in hopes of securing additional support and resources. This move was prompted by the pressing need to address the ongoing crisis in Niger. Unfortunately, the African Union did not endorse ECO, was plans for military intervention in Niger as a means to reinstate democracy through the use of force. This decision highlights the complexities and challenges surrounding international efforts to resolve the crisis in the region. On Monday, the African Union's Peace and Security Council, the body tasked with enforcing the organization's resolutions, gathered in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, to address the complex situation in Niger. A seasoned African diplomat described the discussions and the prevailing circumstances as highly challenging. This decision emerged following a lengthy and rigorous 10-hour session held by the African Union's Peace and Security Council. Several diplomats who participated in the meeting have confirmed that the African Union has unequivocally rejected the proposition of employing military force in Niger. This development may potentially reduce the likelihood of ECOWAS resorting to military measures against Niger's junta. Notably, the ECOWAS regional coalition had recently endorsed the establishment of a standby force with the objective of restoring democracy in Niger. This decision underscores the importance of diplomatic solutions and peaceful approaches in addressing the complex issues surrounding Niger's political situation, as the African Union stance now places greater emphasis on non-military interventions. Also during the week, the military leaders of ECOWAS convened in Accra, Ghana, to engage in preliminary discussions regarding potential strategies for addressing the situation. The military administration currently in power in Niger appears undisturbed by the warnings issued by ECOWAS and has been actively appointing ministers to form a new cabinet. In Niger's capital, Niamey, numerous demonstrations have taken place, demonstrating support for military governance and indicating widespread backing for the peaceful coup that transpired. The military leadership enjoys significant favor among the populace. Some member nations are also expressing their discontent with ECOWAS and have voiced hesitancy about deploying their troops in the Niger conflict. The Nigerian Senate has advised President Bola Tinubu of Niger, encouraging him to explore alternative approaches before resorting to military intervention in Niger. What course of action do you anticipate ECOWAS will take next? Share your thoughts in the comments section. If you found this video engaging, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Think Rich Africa for more captivating content in the future.